Do you want free money on RuneScape? Because all profits from these videos will be going back to one of you guys. Want to know how you can enter? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and comment your RuneScape username down below. Now let's get into today's video. Welcome back to testing old school RuneScape money making methods. Feel free to leave any suggestions in the comment section down below for what you'd like me to do next on the channel. If you would like, you can browse all other money making methods I've tried here on the channel by clicking on my playlist either at the end of this video or in the description box down below. Welcome to Season 5 of Test No Osiris Wiki Money Making Methods. And today's money maker is going to be Slaying Viawatch Sentinels. They were released at the game on the 4th of June 2020. If you guys want, you can join my CC for the latest updates and to know when new videos go live, just like this one you're watching right now. The requirements you will need to be able to do this method are the following. The most important requirement is to have complete the Sins of the Father quest. This is so you can actually kill these Fire Watches. For the skill requirements, I would recommend for you guys to have at least level 70s in your combat skills, alongside a level 43 in prayer. This is so you can protect from melee. And finally, for the item requirements, you'll want to have the Via Noble Disguise. This is how you can use the Bank Deposit, uh, as this is very close to where we will be killing these Firewatch Sentinels. My gear setup is on screen, and I will run through it now. So I've gone with a Slayer Helm. This is because I'm killing these Firewatches on a Slayer task. Next up is a Fire Cape with the Amulet of Torture, and I've also got a Blessing. This is for an extra prayer bonus. My weapons of choice for today's video is the Dragon Fender with the Blister Wood Flail. My armor is the Proselyte Plate Body and the Proselyte Plate Legs for that extra prayer bonus. Then I've gone with the Ferocious Gloves, the Primordial Boots and the Berserker Ring. If you guys cannot afford any of these or you don't have these items, you can change out some of these items to the ones you can afford. For example, the Primordial Boots you can swap out for Dragon Boots. The Torture you can swap out for a Fury, even the Proselyte you can swap out for the Initiate. My inventory setup is on screen and I will enlarge it. All I have in my inventory to start this video is a Firewatch Noble Disguise. This is so I can use the Bank which is very very close to where we are killing these Firewatches in Darkmire. For the location we are using in today's video we are in Darkmire. You will gain access to this place after the completion of Sins of the Barber Quest. Firewatch Sentinels are stronger variants of the Firewatch and can be fought after completing the Sins of the Fab quest. They can be found prowling the streets of the upper class area of Darkmire. The Firewatch Sentinels are the only monsters that drop the Blood Shard. Although the Blood Shard can be obtained by a pickpocketing the various via citizens throughout the city. So if you guys would like me to do a loot video from pickpocketing these citizens, let me know in the comment section down below. And these Firewatch Sentinels can only be harmed with the Invandis Flail or the Blisterwood Flail. To be assigned vampires for a Slayer task, the player must purchase the ability for 80 Slayer reward points. Once you have unlocked this, you can disable it, however if you do disable it, then you will have to unlock it again for an additional 80 Slayer points. But with this now all being said, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how much XP we have gained in this video and how much money we will be giving away in today's video. So we have finished killing the Firewatch Sentinels for one hour and here in my event is everything we have managed to get. So let's just jump over to the XP. So for this one hour we managed to get 56,500 in defense, 18,800 in hit points and 14,100 in Slayer. So if I just go ahead and price check this then this will give us our price overall. So loot from one hour of killing Firewatch Sentinels comes out to be 351,176 and that will be going away to one of you guys. Now let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see who will be taking away today's profits. Welcome to the spinning wheel, we currently have 10 entries. If you guys see your name on this list then you have entered correctly. So today's one of all profits is going to be Congratulations Madius, you are today's one of our profits. Now let's jump on over to the moneymaker leaderboard so we can see where our moneymaker ranks. 
Welcome to the Moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard I rank the moneymakers after I tried them and I split it up into four columns. First column is for the method I was using, the second column is for the money this method has earned me, column three is for the order they rank in compared to the order they was released in and column four is for difficulty. Because after I tried each method I will rank it. If it is really hard to do then I will give it a red hard, if it is easy to do then I will give it a green easy and if it is somewhere in between like some of these methods are then I will give it a yellow medium. This is for the medium tier. Today's money maker was slaying via watch sentinels and this net does a prop of 351,176 GP. This was seen in episode 3 on season 5 and I ranked it as medium. I was going to put it as hard to do because a lot of people don't like doing quests. That's why I was going to rank it as hard to do but I thought I'm going to rank it as medium because other than the quests there isn't really too much you have to do. You already get the weapon by doing the quests. You get the via noble disguise, I'm pretty sure, by doing the quests as well. So there's not really much you have to buy. And I recommended around level 70 in your combat stats and around 43 prayer so you can protect from melee. So I wouldn't say that is too hard to get. So that's why I ranked it as medium instead of as hard. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed this money maker. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. It really will help this channel grow. And if you guys want to support the channel further, you can do. My Patreon link is in the description box. However, just watching my videos and giving me some feedback on them is more than enough support. I've been Ben. Hope you guys have all enjoyed. And I will see you in the next money maker. Goodbye.